In this video, you will see how to select and install MCU Expresso SDK packages into MCU Expresso IDE. There are two methods for selecting and installing SDKs into the IDE. The first is a simple selection of pre-built SDKs from within the IDE itself. The second method is to use a web browser or the built-in web browser in MCU Expresso IDE to configure and download and then install an SDK into the IDE. In this tutorial, we're going to use the built-in web browser, but the same techniques apply if you're using any standard desktop browser. From version 11.1 .1 onwards, MCU Expresso IDE includes the ability to download and install SDKs directly without using the SDK builder. A new home screen is provided when you start the tool and from here you click on download and install SDKs to get to this facility. Once selected you will now see all the available MCU Expresso SDK packages. If you have any already installed from an older version of the IDE these will be hidden unless you uncheck this box. And those that are already installed will be greyed out here but will still be affected by the search you apply here. The search here is to enable you to narrow down the available boards based on middleware that you may want or the memory size or the type of core. Here I will choose Cortex M7 cores and I'm going to select those that have support for MWIN graphics. Once I've selected the board that I want, I simply click on it to highlight it and then click on install. I accept the user agreement and click finish. Now my SDK is installed, I can go to the IDE and now we can see that the SDK that I just installed is available to me. I can get more information about this SDK by clicking here in the SDK panel and then over in the outline view I can see more information. Next let's see how to install an SDK from the mcuexpresso.nxp.com SDK builder. You do this by selecting the globe button here and this will open the web browser facility within the IDE directly at mcuexpresso.nxp.com. To make things clearer, I'll maximize this window by double clicking on it. You can see passing over the tab the URL that we're at. And from here, we can go to select our board. This operates exactly the same way as if you were in the browser. So if you haven't logged in before, you'll need to do that. Note the registration you're using here is your standard nxp.com registration. If you do not have one, it's a simple process to create one following the links provided. At the Select Development Board screen you can either start by searching by the name of your board or you can use this selection guide here to choose it. Here I'm going to choose an LPC board. You can name your SDK if you don't like the standard default name used and then click Build. Note that when using the IDE to select a standard package you don't have any control over the middleware that's included in the SDK Builder you have the ability to control the middleware that you want to include. For example, I'm going to exclude the DSP library here and I can scroll down and choose all the other options that I have. Once I've made my choices and checked that I'm using MCU Expresso IDE, I can then download my SDK by clicking here. If the SDK was already built and on the server, it will be available immediately. Otherwise, it will need to be built. You can see this one is being queued to be built now, and this normally takes a couple of minutes. Once it's ready, it will appear as a fully color image of the board and a description. Now my SDK build is completed. I can see the information about it here. Just download the archive and documentation here. I'm going to download this to my downloads folder. I just click on the agreement here and then it will be saved. Now the download is completed, I can open the folder. I minimize this browser window now. I can just drag and drop this SDK package into the SDK panel. 
and it will be installed. I just need to click on confirmation. Now my SDK is installed, I can see it here. If I click on it, I can see that information in the outline panel over here. And now it's ready to be used. For other information, please see the links on this slide.